Thank you for joining us this morning for the 2015 Gwyn David Lecture Series. Follow along today on Twitter uh, with the hashtag UTSocial. All right, so uh, we're, uh, what is it? Practicing what we preach. Today we have two very special people to talk with you, uh, Steve Marino and Chris Jones. Uh, today they're going to discuss how to manage crisis communications in the age of social media. So as Terry had mentioned, you know, I, I had uh, presented about the BP uh, crisis and how we handle that with social media. And I'm going to uh, rehash some of that today just to refresh everybody a little bit on, on what we did because when, um, when Terry called and we had some of the initial talks about what we should, you know, talk about today, um, it's really the first opportunity I had to think about, you know, what did we do? What did we set up and, and how did that last over what's now almost five years, right? So when we got down to, to BP, um, uh, we had to come up with the communication strategy, which we'll talk about in the presentation. But that strategy also then became what post-spill was supposed to be the corporate reputation management, right? How do you rebuild trust in a company that's basically lost it for the entire world? I think the point he makes is great. We all get called into situations that aren't ideal. Our job is to get them to do the right thing. That's even in politics. I, I will work for the enemy if I can try to convince them that what they're doing is wrong. So I think we try to get in there and do the right thing. At a certain point, if it gets to be uncomfortable, then you have to leave it. The human mind is designed to process information as we move through the environment at about five to ten miles an hour max. Uh, roughly the speed that you could run from a tiger. That's what your brain is designed to handle. Making decisions, uh, judgment calls, controlling your movement, reacting, that's pretty much our biological limit. In the, uh, in the, in the not that long ago era, a crisis, this is the way you learned about a crisis. You heard the paper hit your front porch and you went out and got the latest news on the crisis. Nowadays, a crisis hits, you probably found out from Twitter or from some breaking news alert on your phone, and then you begin to follow it as it unfolds in pretty much real time.